I really don't know what Christmas is all about. What is up you guys and welcome to Christmas with the K. That's me. It is Vlogmas Day 23, baby. 23 23 23 yay yay but today's video isn't gonna be like an ordinary vlogmas video today i am showing you guys all of my beauty favorites so i'm gonna walk you guys through my everyday everyday glam i don't do this every day but when i want to do a simple glam this is what i do i'm gonna show you guys my step by step routine and let you guys know what's good what's in what's what's gonna work for you Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna make this a voiceover so that the video doesn't get too lengthy. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in Vlogging State 24. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. We're starting off with the brows. I'm using this e.l.f. brow pencil that I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna start by brushing out the brow hairs as you guys saw, and then I'm gonna lightly fill it in. This is the brow pencil in deep brown and I'm in love. If you want a nice, fluffy, natural brow look, use this. Now I'm going into my e.l.f. concealer. Y'all already know the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer is my favorite drugstore concealer. Super inexpensive, only like six bucks. This is in the shade Deep Caramel and I'm using this to carve out my brow shape with a nice defined brush. And take your time on this. I know when learning you want to like rush and get it done. But baby, take your time. I promise you, you'll get it after you practice a bit. That beautiful shape. Now we're blending it out with a nice fluffy concealer brush. Or I like to call it a concealer brush. I don't really know what you would call it. But a nice fluffy brush, okay? Next, we are going to grab my favorite primer of all time, the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. It is beautiful. Mix this with the Ciate London Water Burst Primer, and I promise you, you're going to fall in love. It's literally a dream. Please try this combination and thank me later. Now we're going to take our Fenty Beauty Foundation, the shade 420. Hey. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Go ahead, hurry up. The life of having a boyfriend with two phones, y'all. He literally has to ask permission to call me back on a different phone because it bothers me. It literally irks my nerves. But now I'm taking my Sonia Kashuk sponge. As you guys can see, this sponge gets humongous. And I'm going to start blending in that foundation all over my face. And I just barely put any on my forehead. I don't really like a cakey forehead, baby. So that's not what I'm going to do. So once that's blended out, we're going to go ahead and grab our Too Faced Born This Way Concealer this is my holy grail product if any makeup product you take from this video make it be this one because i'm obsessed this is in the shade maple and then on top of that i'm taking my elf concealer that i used earlier and blending that over top with it this combination is beautiful like heavenly definitely try it hold up wait just look at that coverage y'all like that is insane insane and part of it comes from a drugstore concealer. Now, where they do that at? $6 concealer. Go grab it. Stop playing. Get it. What are you doing? Now, as you can see, I'm going back in with that sponge with no excess products. I'm just using whatever foundation was left on it just to blend everything together and make it look seamless, honey. Now, we're going to grab our e.l.f. foundation palette. I love this for bronzing. I don't know if that was what it was made for, but that's what I use it for. $6 palette. It's a cream foundation palette. 
and I mix the darkest shade with like the peachy orange shade to get my perfect bronzer shade. I don't really contour. I just like to be bronze. So that's why I go for that orange shade. But do as you will. This foundation palette comes with some nice shades. And I'm going to use this all over my face where I would normally bronze at. In the hollows of my cheekbones, my chin, my jawline, all of that. Now I'm taking my Huda Beauty powder. I love this setting powder. I cannot pronounce my shade name for the life of me. So I'm going to put it in the description and definitely go and check this out too. This is definitely a runner up to the Too Faced concealer. I'm in love with this powder. I've been using it nonstop for three years now and I can't see myself using any other powder. Taking a fluffy brush and brushing off the excess. Obviously we don't want to look ghostly, okay? We're just gonna take that extra off. We don't want a white cast. Now I'm going in with my favorite bronzer right now. My powder bronzer is the Black Radiance. This is the pressed powder in the shade Rich Mahogany. You can get this from Walmart literally for $4. Like, are you joking? Are you serious? It's a great formula. Super, super inexpensive. They have a nice plethora of shades and the shades are rich, baby. They look so nice on the skin. You can't really see in here because the lighting wasn't that great. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. But I'm in love. And you can tell just by the looks of me, okay? So I'm going to go everywhere that I put the cream bronzer at and go over top with that. Now for my blush, I don't really use blushes. I use an eyeshadow palette. This is the Revolution Reload Iconic Neutrals 2 palette. And I mix those three shades to get my nice blush shades. I like a nice warm blush tone that's just who i am that's what i like that's what i be so that's what i'm gonna do as you guys see here love it now i'm gonna take my elf coconut glow mist i love this stuff it smells so good i'm gonna spray my brush literally drench it and i'm gonna take my naked cosmetics sierra nevada 2 loose pigment and dip into that and we're gonna start highlighting with it you guys when i started highlighting with this it literally changed my life look at how good this highlight looks and it doesn't give you a white cast to the front it looks so good and your skin just looks wet it doesn't look like there's anything over top of it it just looks wet but as you guys can see i'm going all over my face where i would normally highlight at the cheekbones the nose the forehead and sometimes I go a little too crazy, so I'll go back in with my bronzer brush and just go over top of it. It's been so now, I'm going to take my all-time favorite mascara. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. Oh my gosh. This is literally amazing. Heaven sent. If you have short lashes and you've been looking for a mascara that will actually add volume, add length, at it all this is the mascara that you want to get now it is kind of pricey i believe it's like 36 dollars per tube but i got it through ipsy and i'm not positive of that price but oh my gosh it is amazing this is the second time that i've gotten it in an ipsy box and i'm so happy that i did because this is my favorite product that i've ever gotten from ipsy look at my lashes did you see that before and after like you're joking if you don't see that that's a crazy difference incredible One tip for the lips, grab your Morphe 35M palette and take this deep chocolate shade. I know it looks kind of sketch. Grab this pencil brush and start lining your lips with it. I don't know what drove me to start doing this, but I'm glad I did. This by far has been the favorite thing that I've ever used to line my lips with. I'm literally obsessed. So I'm going to line my lips with it and then I'm going to start to fade those edges a little bit because it will come off a little harsh if you don't do that. And as you guys can see here, it's blending super easily because it's the eyeshadow. It's meant to blend. Like what? Who never thought of that? Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and grab your NYX Liquid Suede Liquid Lipstick in the shade Soft Spoken. As you saw, I did kind of scrape it off because it does come out pretty heavy and pretty thick. 
but we're gonna start applying that all over the lips even over the lip liner and this is my go-to lip combo if you've ever seen me with lipstick on this is probably what i was wearing now i know it does look kind of dark for my everyday lip combo so i'm gonna grab my kissy face lipstick from morphe by far all-time favorite lipstick that i've ever put on my lips and that's pretty much it for my makeup routine i don't use setting spray and it lasts all day long with those primers and everything like it just looks so natural so radiant and just so beautiful so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one